As House Democrats gear up to unearth the real Robert Mueller report and expose Donald Trump's crimes, Trump continues with his strategy of distraction by pushing forward with his deranged agenda, destroy President Obama's legacy. Trump thought this would be this isn't going over well, however, and now Trump is throwing a fit about it. Even Trump's fellow Republican leaders are letting it be known through various media leaks that they want nothing to do with it. Instead of realizing that he's picked a loser of an idea, Trump is instead doubling down on it and, naturally, doubling his empty bombast. On Monday night, Trump posted this angry multi-part tweet that everybody agrees that Obamacare doesn't work. Premiums and deductibles are far too high, really bad health care. Even the Dems want to replace it, but with Medicare for all, which would cause 180 million Americans to lose their beloved private health insurance. The Republicans are developing a really great health care plan with far lower premiums, cost, and deductibles than Obamacare. In other words it will be far less expensive and much more usable than Obamacare. Vote will be taken right after the election, when Republicans hold the Senate and win. Back the House. It will be truly great health care that will work for America. Also, Republicans will always support pre-existing conditions. The Republican Party will be known as the party of great healed care. Meantime, the USA is doing better than ever and is respected again. That's right, he spelled it healthcare.to be clear, there is no consensus that Obamacare doesn't work and there is no evidence that Donald Trump and the Republicans have any such alternative. This is the same utter nonsense that they pushed back in 2017. They didn't have an alternative back then either, most Americans saw right through the con and Trump and the GOP got pummeled in the midterm elections as a result. There you have it. It's clear that Trump is running out of ideas to distract from the legal storm that is about to hit him.